So a little education on male masturbation. This video is called Let Him Masturbate. And it is for men and women, but uh, mainly to start a conversation. I'm not gonna finish this conversation, but I'm gonna start it. If you ask 100 men right now, your first time discovering your body, like for real, for real, the first time you actually were like, oh, that's my dick, and it feels really good to touch that, was that a healthy, pleasant experience or a shame-filled, hurry up and do it, possibly get caught by your mother, your cousin, your sister, or somebody, a parent who shamed you. And most of those men, 90% of them would say that it was the latter, that they got shamed for it, that there was a fear, that they, they had to do it in secrecy. Because if somebody knew that the urge to merge, that part of themselves that's discovering their biology, discovering their pleasure centers, if somebody knew that they were doing that, that they would potentially be shamed or, or uh, need to be prayed over because there's something wrong with them because they the, the very thing that God gave them is a bad thing. Guys, this is, this is one of the biggest issues we have on our planet. You want to stop sex trafficking? You want to stop uh, fucking wild pornography and all the things? Stop shaming little boys. Stop shaming men for the, the wild man inside of them. I know we do the same for women, but I'm speaking about men right now. And especially if you are a mother of a little boy, especially if you are you know, a partner of a man who you don't want to have sex with because whatever is going on for you, like more power to you just like i get it everybody has different seasons but if you don't want to have sex with him don't shame him for um wanting to uh, be with that part of his biology um, because you know we're all social and historical beings and we've been programmed uh, with beliefs and interpretations and uh, one of the things we're crystal clear about with our sons and daughter i'm speaking about sons right now is they get to explore themselves without us shaming them. Uh, my son this morning was speaking about how his uh, penis hurt. That's what he said, my penis hurts. And what was coming up was actually that his penis got hard and he didn't understand it. And so I talked to him about it. I said, sometimes your dick will get hard and it will feel uncomfortable and Alexi was right there and we, we she, she shared too. We were talking him through it. You breathe and you are, uh, you become friends with this part of your body. It's your arm does a thing just like your penis does a thing. And uh, taking away the stigma, taking away the like, <gasps> how dare you? Um, we are hoping will produce a integrated little boy that will turn into a man who can contribute to society in a way in which is healthy. But take, make no mistakes, this blaming uh, toxic masculinity, ask yourself where it came from. Ask yourself why men have to hide and do things in shame. Because I tell you what, that is my theory. My theory is really well-intentioned, beautiful queens, mothers, have done their best to unconsciously eliminate the parts of the masculine that they were hurt by. So if the father of the child or some group of stupid ass little boys uh, abused her in any way, then any aspect of her little boy that looks like that, smells like that, talks like that, walks like that, she will attempt to socialize and condition that out of him unconsciously hear me i will repeat this over and over again women i'm grateful for you we are grateful for you and there's an evolution and a revolution and an involution happening where we get to remember remember who and what we really are and a part of who and what we are is biological beings we are linguistic beings we're quantum beings and we're social and historical beings, and all those things are connected. Connected in a way in which we uh, get to bring some attention and intention to. 
there's a lot here. Leave a comment below if this resonated, if this landed, if it triggered you, but you know that there's something there for you. And share, share. Was your first experience or your third experience with your penis a pleasant one or one filled with shame? Women, same. I know you're not without this as well. I'm speaking about men. Love you guys. Peace.